jump off anything you want. You can carve wherever. It feels like pure freedom. I got really interested in ski biking as soon as I saw them. I'm an avid mountain biker and BMX rider, and I snowboard a bit too, but every time I was snowboarding, I'd be in a terrain park, and I just kept thinking, I wish I could take my mountain bike or my BMX bike on these jumps. In early 2020, I met a guy in Edmonton who had built a few ski bikes, and he took me out to a local hill and taught me how to do it, and within the first 10 minutes, I just fell in love, and I knew I had to get my own. If you mountain bike or if you ride BMX bikes, you will feel at home on a ski bike. It is a little different. You're not so much steering with your handlebars as much as with your hips. You're really skidding the back end around. That's the main difference. But if you know how to ride down a mountain or if you know how to hit jumps on a bicycle, or honestly, even just to ride a bike, you could pick up ski biking. I think anybody can take on ski biking. I started ski biking around probably 16 years old. I uh, did it for a few years. This is kind of my first weekend back in actually 10 years on an actual ski hill doing it again. I ride BMX, that's my background. If you go to a skate park or something in a bowl, you're sort of carving around the bowl, leaning your bike, um, and it's kind of all in the body rather than just twisting handlebars. That's kind of similar in a ski bike, and that sensation is similar to surfing or snowboarding, skateboarding, BMX. That's what makes it really fun for me. The biggest question I get asked about ski bikes is where are the brakes or how do you stop? And every time I get that question, it's from somebody who's on a set of skis or on a snowboard. And I just tell them, I stop the same way you do. You don't need brakes or anything. Like a snowboarder doesn't need brakes. You just use your edges to control your speed. One of the nice things about the ski bikes is if you're getting kind of sketchy, you can step off the bike and put your foot down. Whereas with skis or snowboards, you're attached to the actual device you're using. The one unique part on a ski bike are the ski brackets. These bolt in where your wheel would go on a normal bike and then your ski is mounted to that just the same way that it would normally mount to the bindings. The other part is this here, we call a pedal axle or a pedal hub, and it allows you to mount pedals to here so you have foot pegs. The handlebars are off a BMX bike, that just gives you a higher rise and it kind of gives you a better stance. I like being more upright instead of having my hands down here. I can do no handers, no footers, 180s, I've done the 360 a few times, but there's guys who are doing tail whips, bar spins. Supermans, all the big tricks that you would see on a normal mountain bike or BMX bike, you can do on one of these. You don't have to be like some crazy mountain biker or BMX rider to pick it up. Just being able to balance on a bike, carve a bike, if you have that skill, that's a good starting point. Having someone to coach you through the actual ski hill stuff. Uh, in my case, I had never actually used a chairlift before, so Derek helped me out kind of coaching me through that. It's really easy to get onto a chairlift with a ski bike. You just stand over the bike, you have it in front of you, you have the seat of your bike here, and the chair comes, scoops it up, and you hold the handlebars and away you go. When I first started riding up mountains, I was worried I would get more of a negative response and people saying like, oh, get that thing off the mountain, but everyone's been awesome, people love it. I think if you have any interest in ski biking at all, find someone who has one, find one you can borrow, find one you can rent, Feel free to hit me up on social media. I'm always willing to let people try my bikes. I just want to see the sport grow and see more people get into it.